guys welcome back to the channel Yarch Crafter and today I have got an unboxing for you so let's have a look see now This is my partial diamond painting from Victoria's Moo. It's DIY 5D diamond painting. Best wishes for you. Shiny diamonds. Diamond ant ancestry. Number one non ironing 447 DMC standard colours. And then we've got some pictures, somebody using the wax, then picking up the diamonds with the pen, then placing them on the canvas and then showing a picture there of the finished, of the finished product. So the box has got a little bit dented in posting but can't be helped. Start taping the boxes. I don't think we used to do that before. Let's get into this. I'll show you what I did. So let's pull this out. Is that the box empty? Yeah, that empty box nothing left in there nothing bad so i have been given the pen um they send these they don't come in the standard deliveries or when you purchase but these are just a free gift um when you do a review for the company they send this as an additional gift you know as well as the diamond painting for no charge at all um just for doing these videos on youtube and helping them to advertise and so let's pull this out let's start with toolkit first so it comes with a green tray a square of pink wax some baggies and a pink pen so that's the standard toolkit and then the diamonds let's have a look at these so we have some shiny dark purple some lighter purple like a lavender some blue pearly type some silver marquees a bigger round crystal uh, big white diamond I don't know so that one from the other side so that is a huge round pearl then we have the lavender teardrops then we have the orange crystal the bigger slightly bigger and then the purple teardrops so yeah very very nice diamonds try and put these away never get them back in the uh, packaging the way that they came. They only look folded 
once. That's going to be far too long. Let's try. Yeah, let's see. Let's see now. Oh, we're good. Mm. I'm very pleased with myself. <laughs> right. So, this is the canvas that I picked, and it's hard glue, and it is a butterfly. Look at that. I am very, very pleased with that. Wow. It's got nine colours. Got the inventory over here. And then we have the inventory down here as well. So if you're doing half the canvas and then the other half, you know, you're moving it up your your light board, you've got, got it at either either corner. You can see it wherever you may be, may be working on the canvas. So I'm pretty much guessing that that's where that big white pearl will go. So it's number six. And then the bag here, yeah, number six. So yeah, that's where that big white pearl is going to go. So yeah. I am very, very pleased with this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do a start to finish. So, this will be the beginning of the video. Me unboxing it and showing it. And the next clip or the next, you know, couple of clips will be me... either kitting up um i'm going to use these little green pots again like i used for the previous partial that i did the oh what was it peacock oh i can't remember that Button. What was the first one that I did? I know, it's going to bug me. Check. On the phone because I really can't remember what it was. I don't know why I can't remember. It was the dandelions. <laughs> it was the dandelions, wasn't it? The three dandelions and then the butterfly at the top that was the first partial that i did for them so this is the second one so like i say the next clip possibly speed it up set to music um will be me kitting up and then i'll work on it and then at the end i will give my final thoughts, um, you know, if there's any leftover drills. Um, so yeah, that is my hope for this video. Um, but yeah, so I am going to let you guys go for now. Um, but yeah, watch out for the next clips. 
come in and yeah so <laughs> so yeah i will uh i will see you in a little bit right guys i just quickly wanted to come on on the end and show you the completed painting this is absolutely gorgeous i've just cut the border off and yeah that's the big gem there in the middle i'm not sure how i'm going to be able to display it yet um i have tried to frame it in just um an a uh, AFR clip frame but with this big gem here I'm I'm not sure I might have to see if I can mount it um, maybe I shouldn't have taken the border off yet but never mind I absolutely loved working on this painting it was amazing to do so thank you very much to alvina over at victoria's moon um yeah so i absolutely really enjoyed working on this so i'll get this video processed i'll send a message to alvina send her the video link and yeah possibly pick another painting because i've done this one now and i have also done the dandelions i have now framed the dandelions i've put this in the clip frame because of the smaller gems and this is going to be gifted to my mum for a late mother's day present um we're coming up to the point of restrictions being lifted where we can have two households meet or you know up to six people meet outside so um i might see if she wants to meet somewhere for a coffee and i can gift this to her as a late mother's day present um i sent her a card in the post but it got lost she didn't receive it it got lost somewhere so but like i said this is going to be a late mother's day gift for my mum is this uh, dandelions i was hoping to give her the butterflies but like i say with that big gem yeah i'm gonna have to look at um another way of mounting or displaying it i might have to see if I can hot glue it to a big sheet of paper and then mount them the paper onto a I'll have to figure something out and the way to uh, display that but I just thought I'd quickly come on the end and just show you the finished butterfly so yeah it's all finished and complete so yeah I'm gonna get get this video finished and sorted so i will see you guys in my next video which might possibly be the weekend because um it's thursday when i'm recording this last bit so yeah thanks for watching and remember guys in a world where you can be anything be kind bye guys <laughs>